while uh, I agree with them protecting people. I don't agree with the sex rings and people get exploited about what I heard in Toronto. Um, it is disappointing because I do, I've seen it over the years, I do enjoy people coming here, they became a dancer and they've got, then they've moved on. They've got an education here, they pay their taxes, they've gotten married, they've had kids, you know what I mean? And we still, we're supposed to have an open immigration policy in Canada. So the fact that you're preventing people from working, to me, I, I think it's a shame. Uh, how many people do you usually see go on to a, a good life uh, once they start in this business? A high percentage, at least like 80% move on from this, 90% move on from this. Almost everybody eventually hangs it up and goes on to do something else with their life. And when you think about what they're going through actually in the country that they're in, this is an escape, you know what I mean? So basically we're basically trying to help people, but what they're experiencing in like in Asia or in Mexico, you know what I mean? It's probably worse than what they'd have in Canada. At least there's laws here to protect them. Okay, you were saying it's already pretty tight already, so there's no need really to go here to Vermont? Yeah, the, we do have very tight immigration laws as it is. I mean, there's testing, there's physical exams, you know what I mean? It's only a year visa. I mean, it's pretty controlled, you know what I mean? It has been tight over the last few years, and this, I just don't agree with this.